as they try to pick up their fourth win of the season and we're underway. Asa Fuller on the kickoff. And the Wolfpack will start from the 25. Second down pressure off the edge and Solano able to run for the first down and more. Solid run up to the 44 yard line. To the build you want. Play fake and on the pass it's caught for a first down so Nevada moving well here on their opening drive as that's Caleb Fossum on the catch. Solano stepping up comes it first down almost it's going to be just shy it looked like Fossum was past it he went back to make the catch. We'll hand it off here, and on the run, it's McLean Minix, and he is not going to get there. So they tried the wide receiver on the end around, and it's going to be Fresno State that's going to take over. Third down and manageable now, as look out, McMarion finally cuts it back and gets the first up to the 47-yard line. And pick up that first down. And how about how fast that Fresno State likes to go with it here? Is this Jameer Jordan this time? On a first down reception, the senior wide receiver. Will shift Rivers to the right now of McMarion. Pressure, look out. McMarion, he's going to be sacked. Malik Reed comes storming in for his fourth sack of the season. This year, he was a defensive lineman. Last year, he can move around just a little inside. Blitz by Malik Reed gets up there and sacks McMarion. McMarion, sideline, and the catch is dropped. The pass is dropped. Tyson Williams was there defending. Solano stepping up, did this earlier, and runs for the first down again. Solano flag flies, pass batted down at the line of scrimmage by Michael Walker. And we'll check the flag. Illegal motion. Offense, number three, was moving upfield prior to the snap. That penalty is declined. Fourth down. They got a few eyes on him tonight. He is closing in. Now they'll flip it to Jameer Jordan. Jordan getting some blocks. Needs to get to the 40, and he's not going to get there. Nevada from the 20 yard line after the punt. Solano pressure from behind and he's not going to get away. Goes down inside the 10. That was James Bailey that was in there and he falls down. They'll credit him for the sack possession. Nevada out of the pistol set. Christian Solano saw the pressure from James Bailey. Tries to spin out of it, just can't do it. Solano dumps it off and they try to set up the screen. It's incomplete. It's an incomplete pass. It'll be fourth down to the Bulldogs on offense. Jordan Mims is in the backfield now. McMarion fakes the pass to him, goes to the outside. Catch is made. Keyshawn Johnson and gets up close to the first down marker. Second catch of the night for Johnson. Keyshawn Johnson, especially if you cover him one on one. Good quick release by McMarion. It's an out route by Johnson. McMarion dumps it off. He's got Jared Rice, the tight end, and he's a big target and a guy they like to go to often. He has a first down to the Nevada 41-yard line. Tight end position. He initially is going to block, release his man, and just go down to seam, and McMarion finds the big tight end. Nice stiff arm. Options here on second down and short. It's going to be Mims. He has it. Stood up just inside the 30-yard line. So a fresh set of downs for Fresno State. They had a rare three and out on their last possession. It's third down and six for the Bulldogs. See if they bring pressure. McMarion guns it, and the catch is made. Johnson has it. What a grab. Daniel Brown was on his back, but he got enough for the first down. And now they'll go to Justin Allen, and they go back here now for Fresno State. Oh, what a play. Able to get down into the end. 
end zone for a 19-yard reception, Ronnie Rivers. Wow. Marcus McMarion to the right. You come back to the left with a screen. Excellent job. The offensive line all starts right. Comes back left. You got the big center, Micah St. Andrew, out there as well. The big guard, Nick Abs. You love to see those offensive linemen out in front. Second down and 10. Solano on the outside route to McLean Mannix. And he has it for a first down just into Fresno State territory. Four on third down tonight of the Wolfpack. And they're not going to get it. And it was Tawa that was hit in the backfield. Patrick Bellany was there for the stop. It's a keeper, Solano. He's got a good call. First down to the 28 yard line with yeah. a tuck and run. A little zone read with Solano. I like how he sticks it in the belly of Tawa. They pull it down in three. Pressure, late blitz, Solano gets away. And he's gonna be brought down now for a loss. Ahmed, plenty of distance is good, and Nevada puts up three. The drive, the turns, and the points, 7-3 now. And running the ball out, it's going to be Jameer Jordan here for Fresno State. Look out. It's down the sideline. Solid return. It's up close to the 40-yard line and good starting field position on this drive for the Bulldogs. Pressure up at the line of scrimmage by Nevada. Do they bring it? No, they back off. McMarion goes deep down the sideline, and it's overthrown. Looking for Jameer Jordan. Solano. Has tucked it and run a few times and gotten first downs. Not this time, though. Stop before the 25. They'll have to punt. George Helmuth was there for Fresno State. Second leading tackler for Nevada now puts them in a third and 13 here for Fresno State. McMarion to the outside, and that's not going to get it done. And on the catch was Jordan Mims, but Gabriel Sewell makes the play, and Nevada's going to get it back on the punt. Solano over the middle, Fossum has it and stretches for the first down. Nice job there in front of Jeff Allison, the defender for Fresno State. Before tonight, and it does look like he's got pretty good command back there. And as I say that, he throws an interception. Tank Kelly for Fresno State, right to him. Number six gets down close to the 10. He's gonna pick it off and go down that left sideline. It's just. Solano's on the far hash. He's going to try to throw it all the way across the field. And really a mix-up with his receivers. No one runs the outcut. Tank Kelly undercuts it. Like that, Fresno State is in business. Well, if that's not the play-by-play -play jinx, I don't know what is. Now, as this gets flipped over here to Jameer, Jordan, Jordan fumbles the football. Oh, and it's back into the hands of Nevada. Unreal. Gabriel Sewell. Goes right into his hands, and the Wolfpack have it back. We talked about how this Nevada Wolfpack defense flies to the football, string it out, come inside out, put the big hit. Ball's going to pop up in the air, and Sewell catches it out of the air, and it's Baber once again, the safety with the big hit, coming inside out, causing that fumble. Just textbook, though, by Baber, as you said, to go low like that. Getting at it again tonight. And Nevada up to the 25-yard line. First down run. With coming up with a minute left in this half. Solano, another deep throw to the outside, and he's got his man. A catch is made. It's Romeo Dubs. Fresno State saying no. Still two timeouts left for the Wolfpack. Solano over the middle. Fossum has it. And right at the first down marker, it's enough for another first. Third and 10. Got to try to get the first to the 32. Solano avoiding pressure again. 
And he throws it. It's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Choo Choo Hughes. Trying to make something happen there. Just needs to throw that one away. But you can't fault the quarterback for trying to make a play down the field. But an excellent job by Juju Hughes, Hughes not giving up on that ball, making the interception. Well, I almost thought for a moment he was maybe thinking about throwing it away. I mean, the receiver there, Fossum stopped. Well, I think Fossum stopped. way yeah. over his head. No, same kind of deal. Well, one of them comes. Look out, McMurrion hit as he throws. The catch is made. It's going to be shy of the first down. Baber was in there on some major pressure as Johnson made the reception. Still third and long, third and nine. Early second half, Solano had as he throws. Pass is dropped, incomplete. Good coverage there by Mike Bell on the back of the receiver, McLean Mannix. Fresno State is back on offense now as McMarion guns it. He's got a man wide open right down the middle, and it's going to be Rice. Jared Rice, the tight end, finally tracked down inside the 10 of Nevada. Play, though. Let's go back to that Jared Rice catch. Well, the coaches told us Jared Rice was an impact player. This time, he just releases down the seam, Mike. There's no one there. He splits the coverage of the safeties for Nevada. Third down, it's Rivers. Rivers is stopped. Does he have enough for the first? Oh, nice job, Brady. He did really good. Let's go back to action now here for Fresno State. And Ronnie Rivers into the end zone, the touchdown. That's two here tonight now for him. Yeah, a little inside handoff. Good blocking up front. St. Andrew, Marcus Boyer, the right guard. Good blocking and good footwork and vision by Ronnie Rivers. Pass plays, but they haven't been able to capitalize. You need a first down here, and it's going to be close. Fresno State back on offense just outside their own 20 yard line after a three and out punt by Nevada. McMarion's pass hauled in at the 35 yard line. Nice reception, Chris Coleman, redshirt freshman on the reception. McMarion over the middle, almost there. Jared Rice, that would have been amazing on that catch if he was able to make it. Jefferson to the right, option. Tala, no. Nothing happening there on that play. George Helmuth was there for Fresno State. Kwame Jones as well. Two teams have combined four on third down tonight. McMarion, Malik Reed chasing after him. The pass is incomplete and getting crushed right at the end there. It was. DeJounte O'Neal is the intended target. And Robertson's first catch of the season. Second down and four. And getting up close to the 15-yard line. Looking for only their second conversion of the night. Solano. And stretching it out, he's going to have it. It's got to be a different change up for them too. working with this back up at Solano for the week and getting ready and Solano taking down Patrick Bellany and KT Yacopo can get to Solano with only rushing three boy it's just gonna be a long day now it's a third down and nine under a minute to go in the third quarter pressure Solano guns it catches made he's got Maddox and Maddox has the first down that was solid on that crossing route to the top wide receiver. I will go from the shotgun. Fresno State bringing some pressure. Throw the catch is made. Nice job. Romeo Dubs on the reception. And oh, check it. That's Elijah Cooks. 46 of Fresno State. Solano standing tall again, but he's going to throw his third interception of the night. Mike Bell has it this time for Fresno State. Bell's reading his eyes right down the middle of the field. Solano tries to slip it in there. Bell steps in, makes the interception. Fresno State not used to 
many three and outs, but they've had multiple ones tonight. Play clock, they just get it off. Mims. That's going to be the fifth now three and out of the game for Fresno State. I mean, he's probably thinking pick six for number six. Instead, third and long. Oh, Solano swarmed under and sacked by Kevin Atkins. He's going to beat the left tackle, Jake Nelson, one on one. Get to Solano for the sack. Just an outside rip underneath. Has to be thinking two downs here. Might not get off the field if you just stop him here this one time. Let's see, McMarion. Well, they won't anyhow. It's a first down catch by Jared Rice. And the tight end who had that big 69-yard catch earlier. Now Jordan Mims in the backfield. Play fake. McMarion again. And open is another man. And this time it's a touchdown for Keyshawn Johnson. 27 yards. And Fresno State strikes for the third time tonight to the end zone. Cards in a minute 50 seconds. And as I was saying, relatively quiet night for Keyshawn Johnson. Had a couple drops, but here down to see McMarion finds him. Down and 11 midway through the fourth quarter. Solano stepping up, trying to run for it, and he's going to be shy. It's at the 39, gets to the 35, fourth and four. Solano and sliding down to make the catch for the first down is Fossum. You can get those four or five yard plays like that each time. Keep them off balance and they'll do it again. This time it's going to be a first down catch though and Fossum now has 10 receptions on the night. But that Fresno State defense, that linebacking core for Fresno State, one of the best in the league. Another quick pass to the outside, Elijah Cooks. Oh, by 18. So give him the underneath stuff. Just make sure you come up and tackle. Solano gets to the Mannix, who makes the catch. First down from McLean Mannix. Pressure, Solano rolling away. And gets hit at the end and just kind of chucks it. Luckily out of bounds. Solano, good hard effort. You know, and he is just battled tonight. Solano again. Take it down at the 10. Solano pressure, throws to the end zone. It is incomplete. He took another shot. Romeo Dubs, the diving wide receiver, almost had it, but Solano needs some help to get up. Third down and four, and they're not going to get the first. Mims is shut down. Kyle Adams on the tackle as they catch him in the backfield. What he did back in the day and all the yards passing that he had. It was fun watching him. Pass out to Mannix, getting some good blocks down the field from his fellow wide receivers. And McLean Mannix into Fresno State territory. Hawaii. Some of the top teams right now in the Mountain West. Catch is made. Fossum. First down will stop the clock. Field goal on the board for the Wolfpack tonight. 14 seconds to go. Solano. Seen a lot of this tonight as well, too. And he's really just taking a beating, but... A valiant effort, not going to be enough tonight for Nevada and Fresno State. Comes here to Reno and wins it 21-3 the final. And no question about it, the difference in this game was this Fresno State defense.